Hello again, my name's John. I'm a retired cook from the northeast of England in the UK and welcome to my latest video recipe. And in this one I'll be making these delicious cheese and onion pasties. And with this CV situation I, like everyone else, is having trouble obtaining flour. I recorded this video a couple of months ago when I still had my old cooker. So rather than post nothing I'm doing this one with a roll of puff pastry. But if you have the flour you can make these out of ordinary pastry. If you check out my chicken pie video I'll show you how to make short crust pastry. I'll leave a link in the description box below the video or just click on the eye icon top right of your screen. You can view the ingredients list and full written method for this recipe on the recipe page on the channel's website. I'll leave a link in the description under the video or you can click on the eye icon top right of the screen to take you directly to the recipe page. And I'll be doing the Patreon and PayPal shout out a little later in the video. Now this recipe does four large pasties, so you'll need a good sized baking tray. And if you're using this ready made puff pastry sheet you'll need to grease your tin and line it with parchment paper. But if you're only using short crust pastry you just need to grease the tin. And the dimensions of the baking tin I'm using are on screen. The ingredients for this recipe are very simple. Starting with 200 grams, that's 7 ounces of mashed potato. Don't add any butter to the mash or it will be too loose and runny when the cheese is added. You can use any of the hard mature cheeses for this recipe. I'm using Red Leicester mainly for the colour but mature or strong cheddar is a good choice too. I'm using a small onion chopped very fine but that's up to you how much you add. Finally I'll add a little salt and a couple of shakes of white pepper. And the beauty about this recipe you can give it a quick taste to make sure the seasoning is right for you. Now I'll give that a good mix together. It'll mix more smoothly if the potato is ever so slightly warm. About 30 degrees Celsius that's 85 Fahrenheit and that's around normal body temperature. And once you're happy it's all thoroughly mixed together, divide the mixture into four equal parts. I like to use my digital scales to get them exact. Yours may be slightly different to mine, it all depends how much onion you add it. And once that's done you can set them aside for now. Now when you beat the egg make sure it's well beaten so the egg is nice and loose and runny. You can even add a dash of milk if you want. I'd say about a thimbleful is the best way I can describe it because the white of the egg and the yolk must be thoroughly mixed together to make a good egg wash. Before going any further preheat your oven to 160 celsius that's 320 fahrenheit or gas mark 4. Like I said at the start I'm using this roll of puff pastry but there's nothing stopping you making a good short crust pastry for these pasties. There's quite a few pie videos on my channel showing you exactly how to make it especially my chicken and mushroom pie video. And yes before you ask you can of course make your own puff pastry but it's a slow and laborious procedure and to be honest and this is unusual for me to say I find this ready made puff pastry easier and better than homemade. Ok I'll divide the sheet into four equal parts. This brand allows me to get four 12 cm that's four and a half inch strips which is an ideal size for these pasties. Right I've shaped the filling into four rectangles. Right I'll just make one so you can see how it's done. Place your filling as shown. Now brush the egg wash all around the edge of the pastry. Now very carefully fold it over. It can be a bit fiddly so just take your time. This type of pastry is very forgiving. Now gently press down the edges. Once that's done transfer it to the baking sheet. Now 
Now I like to use a fork to seal around the three edges, dipping it into the egg wash occasionally to prevent it from sticking. It also produces a cool pattern on the finished pasty. Once they're all on the baking sheet, give each one a good coat of the egg wash. And the reason for applying the egg wash is to add colour, shine and it also helps seal the pasty. Finally, put two or three vent holes in the top of each pasty as shown. Once that's done, it's time to get them into the preheated oven. Right, once they're in the oven, set your timer for 30 minutes. And while those are baking, I hope you don't mind if I give my very first recipe book a bit of a plug. The book has lots of our favourite recipes from our work kitchens in it and is available in the channel's website shop along with loads of other equipment I use in the videos. It's just another way you can support the channel. I leave a link in the description box below the video or just click on the eye icon top right of your screen if you want to order a copy today. Right, time's up so I'll get these beauties out of the oven. And as you can see they look fantastic. There's been a little leakage but that's fine. Right, I'll transfer them straight onto the wire rack. These are ready to eat straight from the oven, but it's always best to let them rest and settle down for 10 minutes first. The golden brown colour and shine of these pasties looks amazing and very appetising. The underside is nice and crispy and well baked. OK, I'll be back in a few minutes and give one a try. And it's been about 10 minutes since they came out of the oven and they are perfect to eat now. I'll cut one in half and as you can see the cheese and potato are blended together beautifully and they smell absolutely delicious. The puff pastry is nice and crispy on the outside and soft and buttery on the inside. And here we go. Oh yes, fantastic. If you've never had a cheese and onion pasty, sometimes called cheese and onion bakes, you're in for a treat because these are absolutely delicious and definitely get a big thumbs up from everyone in my house. And as promised at the beginning, here's the latest list of my Patreon and PayPal donators. And they are Ian Blewett, Elizabeth Davis, Rosemary Wright, Michelle Monet, Tasman Khalifi, Kyle Bergerman, David Whitney, Renata Gretsch, Kay Adams, Ingrid Pettigrew Keys, Kevin Boyle, Sibongali Kumbula, Abigail Pye, Magella Bradley, Terry Van Deest, Kerry Bolas, Mark Morpin, Mark Ryan, Trevor Hazel, Brian Cusack, Claire Simpson, Richard L. Ogden, Cyrus Jubinet, Bill C., Murray Taylor, Christian Moorman, Jessica Bridges, Gregory Head, Faith in IT Limited, Joan Hoskins, Hadjifani Zaneda, Sanjay Chopra, Sandra Spurnu, Kin Martin, Benji DeBerry and Amelia Young. And thanks again guys, I really do appreciate all your support. Well thank you again for watching, please like, share, comment and subscribe by hitting the circle above. If you do subscribe, activate the bell icon next to the subscribe button on my channel page. And by doing that, you'll be automatically notified every time I upload a new video. And in the meantime, here's a few of my other videos and playlists that you may want to watch. 
So, until the next time, be safe in the kitchen and bye for now.